what's up? Red Panda Anthem. Red Panda, what's good? Red Panda Anthem. Your boy. Uh, let's talk about this. Uh, a group of investors are trying to use a DAO to raise $4 billion to purchase the Denver Broncos. What are your thoughts? And that is, yeah, what, what are your thoughts on that? I'll go through it really quick. Um, I think it's brilliant. For those of you who don't know, um, think of DAO as a organization that doesn't have one face or, or like one leader. So in our community, it's like, well, we, if they take the head off, the snake falls and the body falls. You know, we always say that. This is kind of like Negan from Walking Dead. Like everyone is the one central character. The Broncos is an interesting thing because it's a good way to get in. I mm -hmm. really think in maybe five or six years, one of these crypto parties is going to fund the president of the United States. Mm. I think the sports thing, like if we've been like, so when Usher got his minority ownership and we saw that, right, that's a test run to build the relationships. The sports thing isn't the real angle. I think the real angle is for the Dow to run the world. Mm. So if they can get this off, what if they can then do what Car Icon would do and take over a company? Now you're an activist investor. Now, if you can do that, you can run a country. I think it's brilliant what they're trying to do. Um, and I know some of you asked me about Dallas, but this is just a small test to get to the larger game that's out there. Yeah, I think the the goal, I think they said, I think it's called um, Buy the Broncos. Uh, that's the name of the Dow. So mm -hmm. the goal is just to have fans have access to actually owning a team. Because there's, there's only one team in the NFL that's owned, that's publicly, a publicly owned team. I think the Packers. Packers, yeah. People actually own the team, right? They have shares of, of the team. So... It's pretty interesting, man. The, and, the Broncos keep coming up in conversations. And what it stands for is Centralized Autonomous Organization. Um, so an organization that is decentralized, that's not really owned by one mm -hmm. particular person, right. right? That has multiple owners, um, a, a body of governance, and um, you know the whole idea of crypto where it's taking the the central, how, we, how we're used to things right now is like, a central government, a central bank, uh, a central owner of a company. Like that's how, that's the normal way. Mm. And it's like, you know, the whole crypto idea was to break that whole apart, that whole thing apart. So it's like with Bitcoin, it was, that was that whole, you know, theory behind it. And so now you're seeing a lot of these things where it could be like an autonomous government, mm -hmm. right? Like potentially where you have no real one leader, you have, Everybody's a leader, Everybody's leader yeah. with a a uh, governance that's put in place, and you know it may sound like it's a complicated idea, um, but that's you know maybe it's not. Yeah. Maybe maybe that's actually easier I, than having one person or a party ruling against another party, and then nothing ever, actually ever gets done. Yeah. I I agree. I, I think I, I agree with you too, Ian. I don't think sports is is the say end all be all to it especially like sports leagues like the NFL where the actual other owners have to vote on who can own. And so if you have a, a DAO, like all the other 29 owners have to say, okay, that's, we, we're okay with that, which kind of almost defeats the purpose of doing it. Right. Cause they have to say yes. Yeah. And if they time don't back say to it, King it, Arthur. It. Yeah. Time back to King Arthur last week. Shout out to you, brother. Frank, this is the plan that we need to do. You notice nobody came front and center waving the flag, say, hey, I, I'm the, the king of the Dow for the Broncos. Move in silence. The plan is there. If we can just do it quietly, there's a lot that we can take over. That's why I say we have enough influence to change everything. Power together. Job. But I would not be surprised if in 12 or 16 years that a movement like this picks the president. And also, too, and historically, there's only room for shift in leadership or even tyranny when current leadership is not doing well. So because people are not happy with leadership and the outcome and for everyone, regardless if you're in government, you're in business, your job is to put money in people's pockets and food on the table. I don't care what business you're in. When the money slows up, you're going to get voted out either with their wallet or literally voted out of office. Um, I think this is a very interesting time in history where we may see a change in the guard happening very fast. And if we actually hit a recession in the sticks, the world is going to be up for grabs.